guys, welcome to my hotel room. Look at these were the only cups that they had. I feel so fancy. So today is we are trying the Hardy Hooligan. Let me go get my food. It is coming from Uber Eats actually. And it literally just said that it was arriving and he would let me know when he dropped it off my door, so. I will be right back. I'm gonna go watch two other people. Oh my god! They actually, I've been talking about this restaurant for a while to you guys that I've been really wanting to try it. Yes, I got three drinks, shut up. Um, they didn't even have in stock the thing that I wanted, but it is totally fine. This is my dessert. A Funfetti milkshake. Oh, keep in mind, everything here is vegan. I'm not vegan, but I can definitely fuck up some vegan food when I feel like it. Vegan food is good. I don't know why everyone hates on it. Fuck it, it's so good. I did put a little towel over here to like set the bag on. Don't worry, I'm not setting a greasy paper bag. It did touch the bed for a second there, but then I remembered that was why I put the towel over there. So don't worry. Okay. First off, this is their handmade. Let me check the app. So this is their homemade Berry Bliss iced tea, and I'm so thirsty because I've just been drinking tap water all day, and I swear it's, like, not helping. The reason why is because I went to the vending machine, and I refuse to ever go back to the vending machine in this hotel because the water said it was $3, and then when it, it doesn't take change, it only took tap. So then when I tap my card, it charged me 10 No, it charged me $8, but still, $8? How do you even get your straw in this thing? Okay, I feel like there's a- oh, there's a hole right there. You just really gotta- sorry to the hardy hooligan. I'm making you guys look bad right now. Mm. What the fuck? That tastes- did you guys hear my voice change there? What in the flying fuck? This tastes like fucking rockets. Rockets? Like, no, I know that somebody, like, another country calls Smarties Rockets. Maybe it's the other way around. They call Rockets Smarties. I don't know, but Rockets. It's exactly what it fucking tastes like. What the fuck? I'm so sorry for my profanity today, but that's good. It tastes sour. Like, it tastes like sour Rockets. That's ridiculous. What the fuck? Sorry for swearing, this iced coffee is just really good. I don't know what's in it. I thought it was just gonna come black because it didn't give me the option to customize my iced coffee, but it's very sweet. And there's either oat milk or almond milk, but I can't tell the difference between it. I can't tell the difference between any milks. Let's get into my food. I don't even remember what I ordered. Oh, oh yes. This is heavy as fuck. That is like 10 pounds of food. A vegan crunch wrap. I've actually never had a real crunch wrap before, but um, I wanted a pizza pocket. That was what I was coming here for and they were sold out of pizza pockets. So there's the vegan crunch wrap. It's a good five pounds. It is a good five pounds. Wow, all right. We can take a bite. Okay, hold on. This is really hard. I should have filmed this somewhere else, but the living room is really loud. Okay, this is really good. And that felt sexual. Anyways, sorry, it's inappropriate. I love more than anything the amount of utensils that they gave me. I should have told them. I should have been like, this is for one single person. I feel like the lighting for this video is just going to look garbage. You know what? Fuck it. I've realized recently that you guys don't care as much as I care. Like, I posted one of the worst videos of my life and somebody commented... It was like two weeks ago, somebody commented and was like, oh my god, I love your vlogs so much. And I was like, you know, 
maybe I am the only person who picks all of my videos apart because I generally don't get that many hate comments except for the other day somebody did call me fat and I was like first of all what the fuck this poutine looks really good I really hope they have good gravy I feel like vegan gravy is like the easiest thing to nail because like even like Oh wait, I don't want to give vegans bad advice just because I don't know if this is 100% true, but I've heard that Harvey's ve or Harvey's gravy is vegan. Their gravy slaps. Shit's fucking good. So, like, if it is, there's no reason why this one can't be good just because it's from a vegan restaurant. You know, I've never really seen vegan cheese, like, give a good cheese pull, but this one kind of is. Do you see that? Not bad. I don't know what to say. The gravy's good. Fries are good. The cheese is really good, surprisingly. I've had a lot of vegan poutine. My favorite one so far was from Planted in Hamilton. And the only thing I didn't love about it was that the cheese was very non-flavorful. This cheese is really good. But I do love Planted in Hamilton. The place is good. Isn't it weird how people will hate on vegan food? But really, there isn't that huge of a difference. Like, just being honest, like, I'm not vegan. You guys have seen me eat. Like, I literally just had buffalo chicken tacos in the last cheat day video that I posted. And like, I love vegan food. Like there's nothing wrong with it. It's not rabbit food. It's good. Anyways, this is my Funfetti milkshake. Look how freaking good that is. I am very shocked at this milkshake. I am so shocked at this. Like it tastes like you're just eating cake batter. Like, you can taste like the rawness of it, which might defer some people. Is defer the right word? Deter? Deter? Deteriorate? Something. Keep away. Some people. But if you like eating raw cake batter, it tastes exactly the same. It is so good. Why do I keep getting so many notifications on Instagram? What did I post? Did I post a nude by accident? Man, that would be ridiculous. No, I did not. I did not post anything by accident. I think about that all the time. Every single time I'm like comfortable in bed, I'm like, did I post a naked video on TikTok? Why would I take a naked video? Like in what context would I be taking that? Not for someone, that's for sure. Because I don't trust people. Okay, so on the, on the fucking TV, all I could find to watch last night because my laptop I left in the living room and I was too lazy to go get it to watch Netflix. So I started watching the fucking hotel TV, right? And Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader was on. That show is so rigged. There is no fucking way that those kids are in fifth grade because I was playing along and I lost every single time. You take me to any elementary school, put me in the fifth grade class, I will, I will annihilate every single one of those kids. Like there's no way. There's no way a fifth grader is smarter than me. And there's no way they know those answers answers either. Because some of them were ridiculous. There's no way those kids just know that off the top of their heads. That is not knowledge for them. No. I refuse. They either study really hard for that show, or they're the gifted kids. And I know gifted kids. My friend Julia was a gifted kid, and she got to go to other schools all the time and take their smart kid classes because she was so smart and I was so jealous. Hmm. I was at like the bottom of the class. I wanted to go so bad. There was no way, literally no way that I ever could have went because like I wasn't even in the middle tier. I was at the bottom all the time. Didn't know shit. I still don't know shit. Like looking back on some math equations that I did back then, like I don't even know didn't know then don't know now the one question it was like geography and it was like naming the capital city of all these countries but you had to like place the countries on the map first and then place the capital and I was like there is no way those kids are gonna get it like all these kids are getting it right 
and doing it perfect. And I was like, there's no way. Like, there's just no way. Like, you're not going to sit here and tell me that a fifth grader knows how to do that. You just can't. You can't convince me. Shit's rigged. I am smarter than a fifth grader, so thanks for asking. The one thing I did forget during the, when I was playing along, bed math. I still don't know when you have to use bed math. Is that in any single equation? Or just like random ones? Or like what? But like, they were like, you gotta do the brackets first, and then the E. Fuck, I don't remember what the E was. Equals E. Division, multiplication, E. Ecuador? <laughs> I am, maybe I'm not smarter than a fifth grader. What the fuck does the E stand for? Bed mass. Brackets. Equation. Brackets. Brackets. Ecuador. Equator. E. Division, adding, subtracting, multiplication. There's no E. Am I sure the bed mass is the right word? Hey Siri. Uh -huh. what, what does bed mass stand for? Girl yelled right in my face. On it. Okay. What is she fucking possessed or something? Still on it. Okay, girl. Like I trust you. Motherfucker. Oh now she quit. Shouldn't have trusted her. I'll just Google it. Like it's the fucking nineties. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding about that part. Bed mass. Exponents. I don't, I still don't know what that means. How? <coughs> I'm choking. Someone help me. It's my mom. She's choking me from her grave for being a fucking idiot. I might be stupid, but I do know how to talk with my indoor voice. So you know what? That's gotta count for something. I hope you guys have a good day. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You know, right now I'm steadily making 0 0.0006 cents off every video. So if you could subscribe and make that 0 0.007 cents, that'd be cool. And then, you know, one day I'll make a dollar a video and then I can just quit my job and make like $3 a week. Bye.